Now we're gonna watch for Grand Finals. Atif, Akuma. Oh, we're gonna see his Marduk as well. I love Marduk. No one else does. Uh, versus Lohai in the Grand Finals. So Lohai back with a vengeance after being absent for like a year? I think he was gone. Best, Holy go. shit, Tasty Steve. So, I have a question, Stadium. so yeah, the Grand Finals. Like the current TWT champion to take it. Make some noise! And yeah! Want, want, make some noise! No. Even. Even uh, Steven, uh, like you said. Uh, but now, as you said, I mean, it's, I, I root for both of these guys. Like, Lohai is insane. I mean, he plays Brian. Not sad. I really a like Atif, but it's like Akuma is so boring. Okay, and it's infinite, which hurts both of these characters. But yeah, it hurts uh, Akuma the most. As crazy as Brian is at the wall, it's like no, no one can touch Akuma. Even though they nerfed him by changing the universal tech roll properties, you know, suddenly he doesn't have the easy jump to your back and, you know, death combo you. But still, it has to be said, like, I don't think any character in Tekken 7 is more oppressive at the wall than Akuma. That's when you know a character is pretty, you know, uh... Outrageous, or what, what's the word? Pretty over the top, you know, when Brian has to take the second seat behind you. Now we're just charging forward, making sure there's no distance covered. So Atif took the first round there was I while I was yapping. But now, sick float there by Lohai. Tackle, jumps over the tackle, no problem for the 2D guy. Oh, that's homing, that's Air Tatsu. Now dashes into Raging Demon. What is for breakfast, though? Not quite, Steve, here we go. Wake up. A Ford free. Jab, nice block on Rage Drive. Oh, doesn't use his frame advantage for Oh, because Akuma doesn't even need EX. He can just do a DP. It's, it's just so... He, uh, 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 he can always steal your turn, Akuma. Disgusting. So even though he gets, what, plus seven, I think, on block after that Rage Drive, he was like, hands off, because it's Akuma. This is 3D we're talking about, folks. You could sidestep. Yeah, so two, yeah, two rounds nice there for, for a team. Nice duck. Wow, I love the ranging. He's using his 4 3. Ooh, big call out with the orbital. Nice, oh, big damn, damage. Wow. Also has to be said that these days, you know, when Ni himself plays against an Akuma, he does uh, play Brian quite often. He believes in Brian in this matchup. And part of it is due to Akuma lacking reach on a lot of his stuff. And, you know, Brian is super good at keeping you out, uh, forcing you to play at a specific range. And... Akuma doesn't like that. He wants to be really close to you to apply his down free and other dumb stuff. And that's where Brian, of course, has, you know, the keep out orbital to smoke that down free. So Atif has to be very careful in how he uses that attack, as we just saw uh, a moment ago there. Ready on deck and now constant movement from Lohai. Oh, able to clip him in the ears. Yeah, that tracks quite a bit. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oops. That was kind of genius by Atifo. He saw that coming. Yo, GM, thank you so much for the raid, man. Hope you had a good stream. We were talking about you before. What? Uh, we were talking about Lee's new outfit with the discount 80s bad action movie henchman bodysuit with the ski goggles. And I was like, do any Lee mains like, do, do you like that outfit? What was your reaction when you saw that? Do you like uh, Lee's new look in Tekken 8? Sounds like an impossible because Mi Mirio doesn't like it. I'm your father, I don't know, but you're a very notable player. He looks like Raiden. Or is it Raiden? Raiden from Metal Gear. I think he looks... I mean, I'm not a fan of Raiden, but I think he looks way worse than Raiden. Like, uh... I think he looks like ass, personally. Violet systems really I'm your father likes it. Oh, he does. He does. Wow, that's good. Fox, though, has gotten him so much. He was able to actually control Olson's characters with this character alone. But 
can he contain this demon in a team? You know, I don't even know what some of the changes I would make from that last character to this one. Mm -hmm. but Wait, let's what see. just happened? Fox. Low, high. Versus I mean, what a god. What a god. Two of the hardest characters in the game, and he just brings them out, no problem, at a answers, tournament. He had such right. great answers. Yeah, and then grand the finals. Up close game. Mm -hmm. so it, that's been a great Damn. Game. Also, getting a punish right there from with fireball is steve expert right. brian expert he was looking for you to come in nice side wow. to the left once again i'm right behind you bro atif now has to be very careful it's a constantly yeah you gotta understand steve. like we, we all now. know knee has an amazing steve but when knee had to go up against low high who was like dominating the korean nationals for a long time yeah, he would play marduk low against uh low high steve and that's a very, very bad matchup for, for Steve, right? But Lohai still, you know, uh, did so well. So for sure, one of the best Steves in the world. Oh, six. Thank God he didn't get robbed there. small step back. If you don't get that clean hit down three, it really does change the way you play the game. Oh, oh huge back one. Wow. I can hear him snoring from here. Mm. Uh, uh, him up. It's gonna be huge damage. But what's the mix up? Rocket launcher. So far, but Atif, though, he's gaining that meter. He has the wall advantage as well. Yeah, I gotta get away from the wall. The from low high, the sweet science of boxing. It's sort of paying oh, off here, that's it's not gonna be dead though. Uh. Uh, oh, oh nice goes for the Oki mix up and gets it sick figured something out a teeth though who hasn't challenged him too much here as he clips the legs blocks the fireball uh a try he tried to float him with a jab there uh but a teeth knew trying to challenge with that back one the movement nice step i'm not sure if that was counter hit if he would have let it rock he would have got that launch nice low parry here a tiff trying to stop the advantage right now low high has with these two rounds uh doesn't get the wall thank god while sending two is that done no he has one more chance and that has been so successful and that's a tough suit him do this in multiple matches just raw get up three a lot of times getting a counter hit a tiff might have been paying attention not gonna give it to him for sure, that has gotten him so much work, but Atif also... Was that a punish on the get up four? Like, what is the startup on Tatsu? Is it 12 frames? Yeah, the 30 boxing there, but now we see that Atif back against the wall. Full combo conversion here. Getting pretty close to that other wall. I like the Tatsu to get there. So again, low high is in losers in grand finals. So he has to win this first to three to get another chance at a first to three. the damage he left on the table right there. Nice, wild, wild man. man. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Atif trying to actually bully low height to this corner. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Mm -hmm. If he let that down too far. Oh, rocks. sick. No, drop the for Shiro. Would have been a ma um, ma yeah, match winning Shiro, but still gets it. Still gets it. Fireball rock, you need this to live. He drops the combo. It's not an easy one. Tries to go for the whip. Wow. Super low. It's over the down three low high. Sick. Over the top rope goes low high to close out that sequence, tying things up. And now I wonder who low high is gonna play in Tekken 8. Yeah, and who is Atif oh, going to play? Uh, maybe he'll play Jin. You know he has one of the best Jins. Or Zafina. Or is that Khan? Lord Khan. Oh, Kakoma. He's trying to also talk to his boy here. Yeah, trying to talk to Lord. You know he said play Marduk. Low high is playing Steve. Go with Marduk. My man, Kokoma looks like an aggressive coach, bro. His whole, all of his hair shakes. He does aggressive pointing. Mm -hmm. He looks so concerned. They should have towels too. They gotta have towels. You gotta have the water. Yeah, Khan probably bucket. said pick Marduk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The all right, cool. Apply the petroleum. Watch out for that electric. He's killing you with the electric. Yeah. You gotta spit in the bucket. Yo, watch out for the the, the meter. Right. The meter usage is insane. That Akuma, you know he's got a meter in the dot in the bottom right hand corner. Mm -hmm. We gotta win it at the late and round. And he gets Rocky. fifty percent. He's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. So now it happens, and th this is this guy is not fun for anyone in this game. Like, it's the opposite. But for this guy, it's a, it's a nightmare. Because now, uh, what Marduk does is he does down one plus two, which is an evasive mid launcher that beats highs. This is already bad for Steve, but Steve actually can't punish this move due to its pushback. He doesn't have a 12 frame, like back one, etc., with additional reach. So this turns into a safe, evasive mid launcher against Steve.
gigantic problem. And then uh, one of Marduk's panic moves is a, is a down four, which is a crouching, again, evasive that beats highs, uh, knee. So you can't low parry that, that move. But to make up for that, it's minus 16. So every character launches it, right? Except for... Yeah, so it's... Uh, every, and there's more things we could get into here. Like uh, range, tons of reach, range problems, but... Around, it's uh, it's not a fun matchup for Steve. It's it's brutal. Anyone who's played this matchup knows like it's uh, it's a nightmare. So get ready to see a lot of down one plus two, probably a lot of down four, and then the normal Marduk cheese like vortex tackle throws. But uh, yeah, At Atif has an amazing Marduk. And you know Khan has an amazing Marta. So, and I love this stage. Soup Madik. And there you saw the down four immediately. Very risk free here against uh, Steve, who can only wild man. Uh, there you see? This, this is what this matchup. Sorry for pausing, but this is what this matchup looks like. Boom, you blocked it. Do another one. You might retaliate with a jab. Get, get, get dead. To point out. Lots of jabs, down one plus two, crushes highs. So you're gonna see that a lot coming from Atif. You're gonna see it a lot coming from Atif. Yeah. Low high here is going to have to do a lot of mids just to check Atif constantly. Considering he can't punish it. That's a great throw boy. You have to break that throw. Sick down for one call out. Does not get the wall. Good, breaks the tackle. Up for three on block. Oh, great counter it. Sick, one more mix up, he gets it. Evening it out in terms of rounds. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Break on the one plus two. Down four also go low, pro low profiles the jab. So let's see if he's going to catch up with that. A tiff. Really staggering. Oh, you really see? Staggering. That's exactly what he had to do. He knew he was going to be lazy and do another down one two. So he goes with down four two, which hits very low and is going to catch the down one plus two. But it's so it's a shame that his way of dealing with this this BS is being proactive rather than just having being able to punish it, which is how we deal with this stuff usually in Tekken. We punish. But he has to do be proactive. So so much is expected of Lohai here. Huge burden on him to overcome this. Great rocket launcher. Pressure is adding up, doesn't get the wall. Call out there on the stomp. Huge damage. Nice! Read on the hell sweep. Oh, this is such a bad position. Hell sweep. He knew it. Double hell sweep. Final round. Game number three. Final round. Remember, low high needs to win a set. Mm -hmm. If he even wants a chance. Oh my god, what a punish on the tackle. That was godlike. Now gets the stomp. Should be his round. Nice block on the end. I told you with the blatant low. I love when Steve just comes up and like, I'm gonna put That was so in Atif's like, favor, but low. with super right, sick Steve play, here. low high overcomes that. Dollar, so that was amazing. Yeah, spin around, then I would just walk. Is he gonna we stick to Marduk? Wow, or is what, he going back to Akuma? Nah, he sticks to Marduk. He, he probably knows he should be winning this. Maybe he felt he got a bit lazy there. Like but he battery. knows he should be winning this. Removes the walls. Oh, yeah, that's very much in your favor here. No walls. You saw how much the walls helped low high there. So much uh, mix-up damage. Okay, he's gonna run up. What are we doing? Dunks oh, what a call out with the orbital. Sick. Geesh, geesh, geesh. What's for breakfast? So lazy. Yeah, he goes for the Oki. Disgusting. Oh, 
my god! I told you to lay down! Yeah. Uh, uh. This fucker doesn't need any walls. No walls needed. Get your lazy ass out of bed, says he, the bad dude applies, applies like wall style mix ups out in the open. All he needs walls. is to slam you into the ground and then, yeah, have fun t guessing. Really good versus Steve Fox. He loves to do a lot of jabs. Yeah, constant pressure. No wow, break on the one plus two wow. on top of that. Underhook throw by low high. Now, yeah, trying to find uh, an answer to that shoulder. Constantly going for it. That's the answer. Here that is the answer. Down, down for two. Now the thing is, it wasn't guaranteed, but they did count as a counter hit. No break on the tackle. Where are we going? We're going right hand. Oof, nice break. Get we don't do that in my matches. Mm -hmm. oh, Watch out for the rage oh, drive. Oh, back mid, four. Check to close it out. Okay, Extremely one strong one mid at Marduk back four. Oh, get over there. Big counter it. Overread. Oh, Gotta give it to Atif. That That's sick. Oh. Blender. Nice break. Oh, oh. Two one. One down two. One one two. Conservative punish okay. here. Be down Sick. On follow up. Mm -hmm. Back one he was looking for. Watch out for and down one two. Might get him in trouble. True. Sick execution oh. on low high. CF1, nice. Uh. Salvo by low high. One more. It should be it. his round. It's the first Sick. round in this game. And the crowd wakes up right Two more the rounds and he gets the reset he wants. Watching these matches. Dude, they want that reset. They want to keep this game going. Oh, but down one. But. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> So good <laughs> He's 50 50 in him with jab. down four and five. down one plus two. The mid option is safe, mid launcher, and the low is uh, wild man punishable like only. Can't be low card. What a sidestep. Uh oh. Uh oh. The tides are turning low high. Able to get that step. Atif, though, with a wake up. I see you do that. I'm going to do it too. Uh, this is looking difficult for low high. While standing one into VTS Hellsuit. Get that low out of here, but low high now still. So we go to the final to match now of the, the state, first set. The so low high has we're to we're take this. Now, Steve, to get the reset so he requires. If Atif this takes this, he Steve, is the this champion. Is Steve, of Taiga Uppercut. Man, I'm telling you right now, if you guys haven't watched Low High stream, if you saw Is Sagat coming to Street Fighter Six? I'm telling you, he's the kind of player that will Or is he not? While he's waiting for his next match. He's like and he'll be talking about it too. No. And it's really okay. good to see stuff like that come into play. Isn't he a pretty popular a character? Mm. Mask on. Mask on now, folks. He's gonna go back. Oh, Akuma, right. Oh, he's gonna use the constantly the but going back to Sook. So this is what I love Tiger. the most. We're at Tiger. Up I got this is the point Tiger knee. that I've been talking about. Either the reset's gonna happen or we're gonna crown our T, uh, our TGU champion. Tiger. Mm -hmm. I want the reset, bro. I want See, more I want to keep going. I, I want more Tekken, bro. Oh, we're on back on Sook Madi. Okay. Uh oh. No break on the so wall when Lohai gets to pick, he wants the Grapple, tightest walls in the game. Lows, I, I really like this stage, I, I agree with him. This is gonna be real water. fucking to bad. Go, uh, uh. No, that's a very... Um, I'm surprised he went with that combo, considering how often that dro you get that drop. If he plays it right, he can get the wall. Gets it, I, able to okay. capitalize, still has real estate advantage. Dirty boxing to go. the Albatross, Lohai. At the wall, Steve has a 50-50. Down back two. Really trying to get low nice high blocks, right but low didn't take the. You see, right mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for doing this, for pausing, really but it's, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. He misses back a punish two. here, right? But this tells you about the strength really? of this low. Do you know why low high misses to punish this? Because that's a 14 frame startup low, that knee. 14 frames. Really trying to get Loha to duck right now. Mm -hmm. Loha with a little stagger right there. Mm -hmm. Atif doesn't take the bait. Breaks the tackle. Yo. Uh, blatant low. Constantly going for those lows, wanting to make each other duck. Nice down four. But oh, yo, 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 with punish. Lohai. I like that. Using the down four. Geesh, geesh. What's for breakfast? Much of it goes for the down nice four. block. Finishes the stream to try to make something happen. It goes back to those nice block. Four. Wild man for the front punish. Spades the blue. It's back not going to be enough to stop. It was probably him. expecting right down now, four again. He is trying to take the lead in this set. He already is on tournament point. Right. On tournament match. Excuse me. And this so very even here. Two, two in matches. One, one in rounds. Anyone set? Oh yo 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 yo! Low high is checking with all the mids he has here. Don't down one plus two me. But then it's the counter it. Nice, sick block, sick block. One more round and he, he gets the reset. 
So sick. Yeah, you see? Checking with down for one all the time. Don't shoulder me. Don't shoulder me. Don't shoulder me. Yeah, pressure. Pressure Marduk. He's bad under pressure. But he does have a parry that goes into mount. Ay, ay, ay. What a sick punish. Marduk Airlines. Oh, you have to break that throw. Well done. Oh, yoy, 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 yoy. This is done. If he does the right combo. <laughs> he does not. Oh. Yeah, super well played to both of them. Low high deserves a monumental hug for how well he did in that matchup. But you, 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 you can tell that it's, not, it's just not going to work. Because what, what did he resort to? He's pressuring Marduk, which is always a good idea still. But it, it's so OP, that shoulder launcher in that matchup, that his only viable course of action, low high, he feels is... Down for one, down for one, down for two, down for one, while standing one, while standing one, just constantly checking with a mid because there's no other answer to that shoulder. And then what does he do? He just starts doing quick counter hits instead. It's like, it's just, it's so unfair, I feel. But still, low high should be commended for doing, he made it so competitive. And again, St St Steve is a strong character in his own right. It's just that this guy is BS. Like, he's proper DLC BS. And that <laughs> guy looks so menacing here. He's gonna kill Steve. But also, like, this matchup, it's just does, it just doesn't work. And again, I want to stress as well, like, this throw he's attempting here, but low high breaks. It, this is scary stuff. Like, that's a throw, you know, a 12-frame startup on throw animations. If you don't break this, he, he there's no tech roll. He gets a guaranteed pretty much half your health bar, right? It's like 75 damage. And, and you know, more in rage. Now, try to picture this guy in Tekken 8, and that throw suddenly is unbreakable if it counter it. If you jab into it or whatever, you press into it. Now you can't break that, and he kills you. Like, I'm just saying, if this guy's in Tekken 8, like, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Now, that's the, that's the first thing, uh, you hadn't thought about that. That's the first thing I thought of when, uh, this whole counter hit throw property was discovered. Apparently, you have eight frames to, it's still breakable, but you have eight frames to break the throw. If if it counter hits you, you you can't do that on reaction. So again, the fro fro comes out at twelve frames. You you have eight frames. That's a twenty frame total to break. You no no one's doing that. Um. Yeah, no no one's doing that. Um. And like yeah, that's huge for King. King King is looking real strong in Tekken Eight. Like make no mistake. But this is the guy I thought of immediately. Like how disgusting his throws are and his tackle. And him with the same like counter throw system. It's like, oi, 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 oi. It's not going to be fun. Uh, but so su super well done to, to both of these players. But I especially have to commend Lohai for playing expert, the true expert characters like Brian and Steve in a grand finals. Playing those two, and especially going up against that, it's just, he it has to be commended. So well done to both of them, and I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Have a great day.